we just came back from Japan last week, and then there's one Japanese restaurant, Izakaya restaurant, uh, invited us for a meal. Mm. So like, uh, told them that mm, we just came back from Japan. You sure? And they are very confident to yes. tell us that uh, their food is guaranteed good. So we did a little research and we found out that um, it's mainly uh, a lot of fusion. So Japanese fuse, uh, fusion with some of the Asian uh, flavors. Mm. So uh, quite interesting. Uh, we are quite excited to try this out. Yeah, we'll be sharing with you more shortly. Let's okay, go. So the restaurant. Well, so we have we have to call it Izakaya. So uh, the Izakaya is at my village and then it's just right at the basement. So uh, Izakaya is mostly like a place that for you to like drink and like small little dishes. But in Singapore, I'm sure they are mostly like a uh, big food for for you to try also, other than just a small little dish. So go down to the escalator. You can straight away see the izakaya right over there. So far, the impression is not too bad. Like quite easy to locate the restaurant. Just right over here. It's like um. You can have a drink here. There is a cooler right outside, so it's comfortable to uh, dine outside. If you would like to have the indoor seat to watch how the chef prepare your food, you can choose the indoor seat with the air conditioning. Should be more comfortable if you prefer cooler. And outside, there is a bar right over there. I think Sean like this kind of bar, right? Then uh, you can uh, get the very fast order, the drink to be delivered to you. And they do have the liquid buffet from uh, $39 plus to 49 you can get a beer sake whiskey gin and highball to get yourself tipsy if you like to see the menu do scan on this qr code then you can get to see the updated menu as well the price the food item this is our very first dish the very unique uh, item it is called the pitan tofu so oh, pitan right. is century egg mm -hmm. so that is a very south East Asian kind of dish, mm -hmm. but uh, the chef actually managed to uh, blend it together with Japanese tofu. So the tofu is actually imported from Japan, silken tofu. Mm. And then uh, what the chef did was to take the egg yolk and then mash it up and blend it as a creamy sauce. So the silken tofu is actually soaked in uh, the creamy egg mm. yolk. Oh, wow. Mm. The flavor of the sauce is really unique. Really? I remember that he was saying that it's, they use a good grade of the mirin to make the sauce, right? Oh yeah, that's right. And you can really literally taste the sweetness of the mirin and also taste the sweetness of the, the pitan egg yeah. yolk. And then there's uh, also a little crunch to it because there's mentaiko inside the sauce as well. Okay, I'm so. going to try the tofu. Mm. Uh, chef told us that it's an imported tofu that you can taste uh, the texture and it's very creamy that's of the yeah tofu. and then it has got a very strong hint of soil bean oh wow How literally it? um it's like you can taste the texture of the tofu mm -hmm. it's not like the regular tofu like very soft that's of the yeah. tofu that like you had that in a supermarket there's um actually um some bite to it not like it doesn't disintegrate immediately mm. when you like chew into it oh, so i like this one i think this one pan sake very well mm. yeah or we can pair the highball or even with beer yeah. i think that would be perfect so yeah it's definitely an izakaya dish for sure i am very impressed by the first appetizer the mm. pitan tofu <laughs> yeah i'm quite excited to see what other dishes have yeah. got to offer in terms of the taste department would be exciting how do you like the first dish? <laughs> I'm very impressive. Like really, really like uh, get the umami that I mm. need. Yeah, it's very appetizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, kind of, it kind of sets the stage for a very delightful meal that lies ahead. So the next dish has arrived. It's called the Buri Tataki. And um, it is uh, consists of chef special chopped wild caught amber jack that is marinated with their very own homemade yuzu essence. Mm. And then there is rice and seaweed. How does it smell? Smell very fresh, smell from the sea. Mm. So we literally just came back from Hokkaido and then like, it's just like the one that uh, we're passing by those at Japanese restaurant. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you one bite first. So there's one dollop of uh, wasabi as well as ginger slices that is being provided for, for you to kind of like uh, kill some of the fishy taste if you are not too uh, acquainted with it. How does it taste? You don't need the wasabi. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, it is really, really good. It looks like a very delicate dish. I mm. uh, don't want to waste every single bit of it. Every bite, you have all the seafood inside. Every bite, uh, mm. every chew. Mm. I think they put a lot of ingredients they are willing to put for the price that you pay for. Because mm. um, some of the restaurants, you, you can see that their rice is more than the ingredients. Yeah. Mm. And I think the hint of yuzu essence actually adds, it's like a cherry topping. La, so mm. it en enhances the whole dish uh, very much. So you don't have to worry that uh, your friends or yourself that can't really take a fishy dish or a raw seafood thing. Uh, this one is to have a very good combination mm. with this. I just noticed that they are using a very good grade of wasabi. Yeah. It's not from the powder type, or not from the paste type. I like their choice of seaweed because um, some seaweed, right, it tends to be uh, very strong in taste and it takes away the flavor of the main character. But in this case, right, the whole thing is just very balanced together with the seaweed. I'm not sure if my taste bud got issue mm -hmm. because the wasabi tastes a little bit sweet to me. Sweet? Yes, mm -hmm. I can taste the sweetness of the wasabi. Do you think so? Mm, probably because of the... Let, let us check with the <laughs> chef. I have no idea why it's sweet. Okay, how's the ginger slices? Let's try. Mm, ginger. Mm, ginger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> we just came back from uh, Japan. Like, I have to keep mention that. I think... Um, when we were in Hokkaido, we don't really see such a beautiful plate thing. Yeah, the presentation is really nice. Mm. So uh, this is the five kinds sashimi platter. There are five different kinds of sashimi naturally. <laughs> and then uh, there's meguro, there's salmon, there's menta kichi, hotate. And, and what else? I don't know, just uh, tastes yeah. very good. And then uh, we checked with good. the staff about the wasabi. It's a fresh grated wasabi right over here and then they add in something right to uh, have some secret recipe about the wasabi. Oh yeah, no, uh, it's like uh, grated on the spot. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. No okay. wonder it tastes so fresh and so sweet. The fifth kind of uh, sashimi is hamachi. Ah. Mm. So let's try the hamachi first. cut beautifully yes. and it's very thick it's like uh it's like at least like one inch oops. thick i need some help okay <laughs> okay there you go yeah it's really very thick so let me give it a try let me dip some show you <laughs> ah wow wow mm. i'm very happy mm. it have a good standard Mm. and freshness of the sashimi here. Definitely you won't get uh, this kind of the grape in around this area. Uh, this is my village. A little bit kind of like countryside, right? Shall I say that? Or suburbs. La. But and also the Atas residential area. Mm. I must say that the, although it's cut very thick, right? I was expecting it to be a bit on the fishy side, but no, on the other hand, it has got a very sweet um, hint to it. Mm. So I it's think really, they really choose it very well. Yeah, it's really yeah. very flavorful and it's light in flavor, not too overpowering. So uh, you can actually continue to savor other sashimi dishes. I think sashimi lover, you should order mm. this one. Um, fine kind, might not enough for you to pair with your sake, and every single uh, slice is actually very, very thick. Mm. So that when you yeah, you bite into it, it's actually very, um, you feel very satisfying. I'm not sure what it is, but it's very good. <laughs> it's just like tofu like that, the texture. Mm. And like the taste is really good. It has a just, little bit hint of the fish taste. You just melts in your mouth. Okay, let's talk about tuna. Mm -hmm. When we were in Hokkaido, we have a lot of grey color tuna, remember? Last oh. week, like even those at the Five Star Hotel or the Rio Gun Hotel, we have a lot of the grey color tuna, but this one, they serve it in a very beautiful mm. ruby color tuna. Mm. Which means that mm, 
sadly to say the tuna struggle a lot when it's being, <laughs> when it's being caught. <laughs> so mm. that all the blood will gush into its flesh. Wow. I need my sake now. Mm. It tastes mm. different than the one that we had in Hokkaido. Mm. It's kind of like the the, the red cut, reddish tuna that like, really tastes different than the one that we had, the grey grey yeah. tuna. Um, a little hint of blood. The iron. <laughs> but it's nice. Mm. It's the nice kind of taste. Um, yeah, very flavorful as well. I think salmon, like most Singaporean love salmon. Mm. Let's try the salmon. Does it taste here. any different? Anything special? Mm, salmon. But strong flavor salmon. Mm. Although it's not very, very fatty. Easy to eat. <laughs> yeah. I think the kids will... I mean, kids cannot eat sashimi. Can. Oh, can. Okay. Can. Yeah, I think in Singapore, typically the parents will order salmon for, for their kids. For, uh, yeah. <laughs> Only pregnant ladies or you're like... Uh, in kind of the medication that like, mm. you should check with your daughter whether you can eat raw food or not. Okay, Jim is trying the hotake. My favorite. Mm. Mm. Very sweet. Very nice. I like it. I must say that um, the five kind sashimi platter, right, is uh, the different uh, sashimi is chosen very well mm. because all their flavors do not actually contradict each other. Oh yeah, true, true. But I think that the way that we had in the sequence is quite nice. Like yeah, from every a very type. yeah, from a light flavor to a more intense flavor. Mm. Like salmon is, I would say, is the most intense in flavor, yeah. la. And mm. actually, this seashell leaf is edible, yes. so it will help to uh, bring out more flavor. And also. it's fresh seashell leaf because it's not some plastic. Japanese restaurant just serve like even in Japan we get like plastic seashell leaves. Mm. So yeah. In Chinese, what we say, very sincere in their uh, presentation, in uh, giving the diners the very best. Mm. So kudos to that. And mm, the hotate is, is really nice. <laughs> jang, jang, take two. <laughs> we actually finished the oyster, then like we noticed that we forgot to yes. record the video. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, the the fourth dish is actually the Mirotsu Kajimoto Oysters Sashimi. They are harvested from this areas called Banshu Eko and Harima Mochi. And these oysters, they are full of flavors, succulent and creamy. Uh, very strong, street, uh, strong sweet flavor because of the mineral rich nutrients from the mountain streams and also uh, flavors of the sea. So there's a very high brine content. Uh, we just taken a taste earlier uh, for our first serving. Uh, it's actually very smooth. Creamy. Creamy. And easy, not fishy at and all. And easy for you to just give a little slurp. And then it will easily slurp into your um, slither into your palate. And then, you know, your whole palate will be filled with flavors of the sea. I really like their homemade ponzu sauce. Mm. It's like really refreshing. You, yes. They offered the Tabasco sauce lemon and the homemade sauce but yeah. i think the homemade sauce are really make up very big difference yeah so for your info there are two kinds of oysters being offered at miyuki izakaya the next uh, the other one is the sakoshi bay oysters so that sakoshi bay is where it is being harvested that one is sweeter in taste and according to the owner right singaporeans prefer sakoshi bay oysters uh, and, and the westerners uh, prefer the Mirotsu Kajimoto oysters. Which but, is a creamier type of oyster. Mm, but we will strongly recommend you to try both for yes, oyster lovers. Definitely. You come because um both are actually specially air flown, so they chose the very best to present to their diners. So why not just mm. try both? And the oyster size is just right. Mm. Because that uh, uh if you go to Japan, the uh Sukiji market, they give you the palm size. Oyster, yeah, too much. It's, it's a little bit greasy. Yeah, to a us. bit suffocating for yeah, you. It, but it's a little bit scary to chew, but yeah. it looks good. It looks cool, and uh, uh, on photo Instagram, it's like wow, yeah. a big oyster. But when you try to swallow it, yeah. Like, and this this is very nice to the palate because it leaves 
not a very intense aftertaste. Mm, like I, ha- so, I still can taste some of the mm, sweetness. But it's not so intense. It's not fishy yeah, after this. Yeah, just so that you can continue to enjoy other fabulous dishes presented by mm. Miyuki Izakaya. I already had three. There are two yeah. more portions. Here comes our next dish. is the sukuni with uh, onsen egg. So why onsen egg? Uh, with the dish comes a spoon. So we are supposed to kind of like blend the onsen egg together with the sauce and use it as a dipping sauce for the sukune. Oh, you may blend the sauce now. Okay, let's go. (laughs) Wow, the egg yolk is super creamy, luscious. I, and it looks this is really because that is very fresh. Yeah, and like it will be like run out like this. Yeah, and I can see that this egg like not from the local egg in Singapore mm. because that like, usually Singapore egg yolk it was just like it's yellowish and uh watery. Yeah, and then this is orangey, so okay, it's why really not you nice. taste the sauce? <laughs> it's sweet. Mm. Yeah, they, and it doesn't have the eggy yolky kind of taste. Oh, so I remember uh, the chef will talk about mm. the sauce, the teriyaki sauce, different from uh, Singapore and Japan. Mm. So Singapore one is more on the sweet side. side. And mm. the one in Japan is more on the uh, salty side. side. Yeah, but um, in uh, this izakaya, Miyuki izakaya, they blend the teriyaki sauce in such a way that it's suited for the Singapore palate. Mm. Mm. I tried the one without the sauce first. Mm-hmm. If you know Tori Q, <laughs> oh. you cannot compare with them. Yeah, this one is like really another standard. Yeah, the chicken meatball is actually handmade by the chef. So they are also very creative to come out with the dipping sauce with onsen egg. So let me try. And I'm uh, going to try the one with the sauce now. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, with the egg yolk, it's like so much different. Mm. Yeah, I, I like it very much. Mm-hmm. This one perfect with beer, mm. and um, I think one person two skewer is just nice. Yeah, because there are other very interesting dishes for you to try. Because that one skewer for me is not enough. <laughs> so far, like I've been having so many dishes, mm. uh, I don't feel gelat yet. I don't feel greasy yet because mm. that um, uh, like when we were in Japan again, <laughs> um, after like three dishes that we kind of like uh, it's enough like. Yeah. But this one, the food so far here, I still like enjoy every dish at the moment. I would say that every dish is quite exquisite and unique in its own character. So it makes you want to be motivated to try every to single dish. Yeah. Yeah. And it's more catered to the Southeast Asian taste maybe. Mm. Also, uh, the one in Japan is like um, kind of like mostly original kinds of taste. Like not much of the seasoning thing. And I think um, the dining ambiance also makes a lot of difference. Over here, it's really very conducive. You can choose outdoor sitting as well as indoor sitting. Outdoor, the bar counter is behind. So if you are very thirsty, you can just head over to buy your drinks. So I think that's great. We have changed our environment. Yeah, because I think that we should try the indoor and outdoor and then let you know that which one is better and which one is more comfortable at all, which site that we prefer. Mm. And now come from the skewer right over here. This is the Kushiyaki Moriwase. It's uh, five different sticks of charcoal grilled skewers. And then... uh, Okay, I have to talk about the charcoal first. They are using the imported uh, Japan charcoal Yeah, for it's this. the Japanese binchotan charcoal. Mm. So they use the Japanese charcoal to grill all the skewers. Mm. So uh, the skewers, the five different kind uh, from the nearest to gym is the gyu karubi, which is the beef. Mm. And then the Hokkaido pork belly from Hokkaido. And, and then that one. is the chicken sukune, that which is the had. chicken handmade chicken meatball. Mm-hmm. And then you have the quill eggs, which is marinated. And last but not least, you have the corn from Chitose. Yes. And mm-hmm. there is a dollop of green matter on at the corner of the dish. It is actually marinated uh, wasabi, mm-hmm. and especially uh, concocted by the chef to be paired with the gyu karubi. I'm going to try the beef first. Which need? Okay, then. Oh, wow. Then you dip into the sauce, and then you let us wow. Wow. know how it tastes like. It was super tender. Really? 
Mm. And it matched the it matched the wasabi very well. Yeah. It's kind of like a different types of the mustard because like some people they eat the beef with the mustard, very tender, right? But this one they use it in the pickled wasabi. It's slightly uh can taste some of the sweetness from the pickled. I like the fact that the grilled charcoal taste is very light, so um it doesn't cover the original flavors of the ingredients. In this case, is the beef, so you still get a very intense flavor of the beef, which is really nice. And the beef is really very tender and juicy at the same time. The pork is also really amazing. Mm. I just tried that. They have a light brush of the teriyaki sauce. Homemade teriyaki sauce. It is super good. And uh, they grill it in a very nice way. It's not over grilled. Mm. Like very tender. It's like not like some of them they over grill it like very dry. Like you have to chew very hard. But this one is just a light bite. You mm. can um, chew it nicely. And it's not too fatty. You get a very good uh, bite of the meat which is really very flavorful. For the grilled egg, I think average to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the side that they grill it is slightly chewier. It's more interesting to bite it like, mm. so it's just like average to me. But the grilled egg, right? The egg yolk has got this onseni egg oh. kind of taste. Oh yes, and yes, texture. Yes, yes. Yeah, you are right. So, and different. <laughs> and I think that the flavor of the grilled egg is slightly different. Um, is the egg yolk is really very creamy, and luscious. And so, this corn, nice. uh, it grilled with the miso butter, and uh, so it's slightly different as well. Let me give you a try now. Mm. Oh, I like it, sweet and uh, savory. Mm. That's the chitose corn. Mm. Um, we can taste the miso. We can taste the teriyaki sauce. Mm. Perfect with beer. Mm. Nice, right? Yeah. Yeah, after that you can uh, after taste with the miso, a little bit uh hints of the miso after taste I quite I quite like it. Yeah, it's very very nice. And mm. um, once again, the five different skewers has got five different distinctive tastes and character and different texture in terms of the bite. So um, it's really very nice. Uh, good for sharing, I would say. This one is perfect for you. Um, if you just need a like bite mm. uh, with a beer, just order this one and then it will be perfect for a uh, pam- self pamper kind of the Once dish. again, a perfect izakaya dish. Oh, yep, yep. These are the things that we, every time we go to uh, izakaya in Japan, we will order something like this, a skewer thing. You e- come to izakaya, you must order alcohol. We can't and, resist. Yeah, now we, we just like try to order only one. But we really have a lot, a lot in Japan already. Try yeah. to detox our liver. And so, in this uh, Izakaya restaurant, they have two types of the highball that they recommend you to try. So from this one, Santori Kaku Highball. Kaku bean. And this highball is called the premium highball in their menu and it uses this whiskey called the Shin Whiskey. They make it very right. strong. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I can taste the different. Really? Um, you have to try to this uh, highball, the regular highball, and then you try the premium one. Um, if you always go to those like uh, Japanese uh, izakaya, it's called the kaku highball. This one is slightly stronger than the one that we have in Japan, but this one is very smooth. Yeah, like it does not have the very uh, strong smoky mm. aroma, but this one it can just like uh, drink it like water. I think the ladies will like the Shin whiskey highball. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then behind us will be the white curry hamburger. We are down to our last dish here at Miyuki Izakaya. And this is the beef handwork white curry set. Um, the beef patty is actually charcoal grilled as well. So it is uh, paired with Hokkaido white curry. And on top of the beef patty, of course, you can see it's an onsen egg. And then uh, rice at the bottom of the patty. Uh, and then if you order the set, right, it comes with a miso soup as well. Let me try the beef patty now. I just have a sip of the 
white curry, I think Sean you'll love it. Okay, so for your info, right, if you have not already known, white curry is actually a specialty of Hokkaido. So the curry is actually milder, smoother and creamier. And it is stewed with uh, spices from Hokkaido. And then there's also fresh Hokkaido milk, mm. carrots, onions and shimeji mushrooms. It is very creamy curry. It's the most creamier Japanese curry I ever had. Okay. It tastes a little bit like uh, with cheese. Ooh. Give it a try. Yeah, it had the flavor. I think it's from the Hokkaido milk, right? Mm. So uh, like someone like cannot uh, have cheese, maybe they can try from this a uh, white curry first. Yeah. Then they will start to introduce themselves to uh, the white curry And the to flavor cheese. is not too intense. So I think um, it will complement the other ingredients, especially the charcoal grilled beef patty really well and it's not spicy to me mm. they have a lot of fragrance aroma from the spices but it's not that the hot hot kind of the spice mm. so that those people cannot take the heat definitely you can try from this one first okay i'm going to let sean to uh ooh, oh, the no, egg you just run egg around <laughs> try the beef okay the rice is really very nice as mm. well so let me uh, mix the egg yolk mm. with the curry and uh, a bite of the beef patty and the curry. Let's the see. beef patty is very nicely grilled. It's not too tough mm. and wow. very flavorful. You add on the egg yolk, mm -hmm. you go with the burger patty, the rice. Wow, it's another level. Very good. We had just finished everything. I'm going to tell you that what's my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, then before I forgot the name. So it's Buri Takaki and then also mm -hmm. the skewer. These are the two things that I would strongly recommend you to order when you come here to dine alone. Yes, uh, my vote goes to the uh, oysters for its freshness and its very briny taste. Um, and also the uh, homemade ponzu sauce that accompanies the oyster. I think that is really nice. And then I also uh, enjoyed the Hokkaido white curry with beef patty very much. Um, the beef patty charcoal grill is grilled very nicely and then uh, paired with the onsen egg, I think it's superb for like a very hearty meal. I think that the all the items that we had, it can fit up to 4% or 3%. Mm. We are big eaters, so like, uh, I would strongly recommend you, if you like everything that we had, uh, just bring three or four person to order actually, whatever. We yeah, had. actually, I beg to differ. I think that the the selection that we have ordered right is actually quite nice for two, especially if you pair with alcohol, and then you just sit down, and then chit chat and wow the whole evening away, catching up with your friends. So. Because as you talk and then as you eat, right, then um, you digest faster as well. So I think yeah. uh, it's like this. And then plus the dining ambiance is actually quite nice. So um, I would say that you would have a very enjoyable time here catching up with your friends and loved it ones. It took us one and a half hour to slowly eat up everything. Mm. Surprisingly, it's quite fast. Mm. <laughs> and a secret they have a very fine selection of sake as well so do check out their sake menu if you are here i think uh, they curate their sake list really really well so um, kudos to that as well so do you prefer to sit indoor or outdoor um i think it depends uh, if let's say you do not want your clothes to be stained with like the char grilled uh, smell smoky smell then you can have the outdoor seat. I think that is quite conducive as well because they provide the air conditioning system outdoors too. Mm. And you are very near the bar. You can just swing by and order whatever alcoholic poison you want. Yeah, correct. So for me, I would prefer to sit indoor because mm. uh, the air conditioning is perfect. The lighting is perfect for photo. Because uh, mm. like just now when we sit outside, if you can't have the evening, it could be a little bit dark. I think we, we came for the lunch. Mm. Then uh, then outside, he had a lot of people that passing by. Not an issue. It's just like if you want to take some video or post on your social media, it might not be that comfortable, but we are fine with this. So with that, anything to add on? Uh, just um, come here. a comment mm -hmm. that um, they really uh, spend a lot of effort in curating their dishes and they take into consideration 
like uh, how this dish can be modified to suit the local palate. Mm. I think that is really very commendable. And then, uh, yeah, just swing by if you are free and then you have a desire for Japanese food, craving for Japanese mm. food, you can actually consider this place. Mm. The Miyuki Isakaya, I think it's quite a nice place to hang out. Yeah, I would say that the standard here is totally up to the Japan standard. Mm. Especially the sashimi is very good. Yes. Service wise, uh, on Google review they were saying that they are a little bit slow, but to me I think it's totally fine. Yeah. We don't have to wait for very long. Uh, food quality is like. Yeah. yeah, I think um, the it's not fast food anyway. So I think uh, with the quality that we have experienced so far, I think it's definitely worth the wait. And it's, it's really up to izakaya standard yeah. in Japan. So if you feel like you are waiting too long, just order another highball <laughs> and then you know start chatting and then before you know it, the food will arrive already. Okay, so with that, we hope you like this video. Yeah. We hope you come over here to dine here. Mm. Uh, if you have great experience, let us know. If you have bad experience, let the owner know. <laughs> uh, but I will guarantee with you that uh, it's fine. Yeah. It's, it's really like izakaya, it's very casual. You can come here, uh, dress up, bring a date or you can just come here in singlet. Also, no one will judge you here. Yes. As long as you are comfortable and have a, enjoy a good meal over here. Mm. Okay, with that, Kampai. Kampai. Kampai.